Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel. Welcome to your weekly reading. I am an intuitive tarot card reader and this will be your general weekly reading, okay, for the dates provided in the um, title above. Look, if you were after a private reading with me, everything that you require, um, everything you need to know is listed below in the description box. Otherwise, let's get straight into it and see what's coming up potentially for the sign of Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week ahead. Or if you're dealing with a uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading could be very important for you. Okay, I feel like this card is speaking to me. And you have here fertility. Okay, this is fire. This is passion. There's a lot of, um, you know, there's a, a strong sexual, okay, sexual and maternal energy that comes through with the um, priestess of fertility. Okay, you can see the phallic symbol here, the mushrooms that look like a phallic symbol here, the, um, uh, the nakedness of the priestess here, the hourglass shape that... Um, which you know is is perfect for fertility for growth for birth um so i'm seeing the birth or the creation of something new for you in the upcoming week it could be a new idea it could be a new relationship you've got the cancer moons here could be with a cancer or a fire sign here an aries sagittarius or leo there's a lot of reds and fire is passion okay lust you can see she's holding snakes um in the ancient Near East mythologies, snakes were considered symbols of fertility, um, and they also too related to phallic symbols as well. So look, um, there's a lot of passion and lust potentially coming in for a lot of you, okay? Possibly sexual encounters, okay? Feeling a little bit frisky here, Pisces, maybe, but it could definitely lead to conception here as well. Now, when we think of fertility, we think of fertility in many different ways. Fertility can be, in the, in the most conventional sense, a fertile nature, something that allows the flourishing or the growth of another life form, of an idea, something that can grow and be nurtured. The time is ripe and ready for new ideas, okay? There's a very fertile nature about the upcoming week. There's a lot of possibilities coming in around you that can be harnessed and that can be nurtured to the point where they grow to new heights. So it could be new ideas. It could be wonderful blossoming new friendships, possibly with a fire sign here. Could even be the cancer that's coming through. Two flowers, okay? Duality, duality, twin flowers, maybe a Gemini coming through here. But fertility also rules the earth, okay? Could even be an earth sign coming in around you. And there you, you might just see massive growth happening with this person. Um, it could even be funds, okay? Money, investments that are made in the upcoming week could see big returns if they're done so correctly. You've got the six of wands, definitely a fire sign coming in around you. Wow, okay, the Wheel of Fortune and the Star card. This is powerful, Pisces. What's going on? A destined week. This is double whammy, Wheel of Fortune and Star. Amazing. Okay, let's look at the Six of Wands. This is victory. Um, being placed on a pedestal, being known for something here. Finally coming to a point where you can scream something out from the rooftops. Feeling like you're in a very, very comfortable position here. No one is going to bring you down from this platform here, Pisces. You are at the top of your game. You're top dog. You're really dominating something here. It could be with a fire sign, okay? If there is a fire sign around you, this person is going to be uh, quite forward, okay? They're coming out of their shell. They're either wanting to heal with you. Remember, cleansing with the Aquarius card can be cleansing. Or the Wheel of Fortune, they're wanting another cycle with you. So some of you have a destined water... Uh, could be a water sign. I mean, you've got Pisces here coming through. So Pisces, um, Aquarius, which is the water bearer, or a destined fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, um, that's a part of your journey in the upcoming week. So this is very, very powerful. But like I said, this person is coming in and they're on a platform. So it might even be that this person catches your eye and it could be through online connections here with the star card, uh, things that may come, th things that are observed from afar. Okay, so this person might even be watching you Pisces, you might be watching them. There's some sort of connection here. Now, if you have a fire sign boss or quite an authoritarian fire sign figure around you or someone that's very important, this person is a part of your destiny in the upcoming week. You might have online connections with them, but they're going to provide you with something here, something that you've been wanting. They're going to champion your work, be a representative, be make themselves a presence in your life, make themselves make you a priority or you might make them a priority here as well with the six of ones but very very good card here this card signifies its uh, victory following um its conquest following challenge and obstacles so there's a breakthrough happening here for you in the upcoming week 
What's even more amazing is that you have the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? Destiny, cycles, divine intervention, everything being interconnected, the Tree of Life, a cycle that is supposed to be that is written okay i often feel like the wheel of fortune symbolizes predestination so this is predestination here for you something that was already conjured up by a higher power a divine force is coming up is showing up in the physical here for you and what's interesting is that you can see the early stages of growth here okay look at this flower here it's in full blossom okay because fertility the fertility goddess is allowing this to rise up from the earth and it looks like it's happening so effortlessly. The flowers are in full blossom here. The fairies almost make themselves um, home to these flowers. Wow, they're in a very beautiful position here. It's very whimsical, very creative. So if this is in relation to creative pursuits, possibly new ideas. But it also speaks of a journey, okay? You might have had a creative idea here, Pisces. You're going to nurture this idea in the upcoming week. And it's a destined thing. It can lead you to fame, fortune, recognition, people knowing your name, prestige. And, you know, you're often in um, areas of, of, of work or career, professionally or creatively, where you express, okay? Because you, you are the storyteller. So I feel in one way your story your idea might be shared with the world um, it can also be symbolic of potential soulmates coming in around you okay someone that might already have children works with children um, or wants a family okay they're fertile so they want to absorb and they want to experience everything that this life has to offer they're all about um, living a very rich, living a, a very enriching, enlivening and fulfilling lifetime. And they, they want to take you by the hand and take you with them, Pisces. So that's very exciting. Whether this is a professional connection or not, this will prove to be very auspicious for you. Now, it can also be someone from the past coming back in, someone from a past life, okay? And the reason I say that is the Wheel of Fortune can often um, indicate cycles, the star card, maybe this is past cycle, someone that you're very compatible with, especially astrologically, because the stars are coming up. This could be an Aquarius coming through with the star card, okay? This is all about intelligence. This is sharing your ideas. This is someone coming in. It could be a meeting happening online. Some of you are connecting with someone online through social media, um, through professional networking sites, um, through uh, forum groups, through certain websites that allow you to share your work or share your interests or share your relationship um, statuses and things like this, you are connecting from further afield um, in a very, very auspicious way. And what I love is that you've come up here. I mean, look at her. I know she rules Aquarius, but she's got a lot of fish that surround her. Are you swimming towards your destiny? It almost looks like you are. Something is written in the stars for you in the upcoming week, okay? Something that you're dealing with. You've got your feet, feet immersed in emotion, okay? This is, and the, um, you know, you, you can see the fishes here swimming, swimming underneath here, but they're also swimming in the air. This is, it's very creative. It's very whimsical. It's almost too good to be true or it's like unbelievable, Okay. It's almost like you won't believe this. You won't believe the person you hear from. You won't believe the kind of person you'll, inter you'll count, um, interact with. You won't believe this online opportunity. You won't believe... It, it could even be a, an opportunity to heal, self-heal, um, self-empowerment, okay? Intuition, premonitions. You might be taken aback at how vividly you'll imagine things or how vividly you see, you'll see things happen before your eyes, before they actually take place in the physical. So it can very much speak of your intuitive ability coming out here and absorbing, okay, giving you growth, fertility, um, new beginnings, births. Um, and it could be, like I said, someone that is a, a family person that's coming in around you, someone that already has children, someone that you could merge uh, families with even. Very, very auspicious for you. Could definitely be an Aquarius, but the Aquarius shines. It's Aquarian energy, intelligence, confidence, uh, passion. You know, they, this is that area where they thrive. So I definitely see you basking in this success here. So I will leave it at that, Pisces. I hope this reading has been insightful. Just want to say thank you again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week, which I do believe you will. Um, and hopefully we shall be connecting next weekend. So take care and bye for now.